Hello everyone, greetings from India. This is Nirbhay Chauhan from Eklavya Self Learning Tutorials. Well guys, today uh, in this video, we will learn like how you can quickly create the renders of your FreeCAD models or I should say the BIM models or any architectural part or let's say even the mechanical part if in case you want to create the mockups. So we will take help of some AI basically here. So what you can firstly do is, let's say you have a view of FreeCAD model open. You can either take a screenshot of this, right? Or you can basically export this as an image. So let's say I can just say this as sample house. Type is PNG. In extended, basically, you can change the export ratio. So standard sizes are there already. Let's say I'll go with current screen. And I can say aspect ratio as per the screen whatever I can see on the screen right background transparent creation method off screen new so this is something by default I'm not changing so the free cat version is 1.0 basically so I'm keeping all those settings as is and then I'll quickly save it and I can basically see this is the image which we have just exported guys right and now we will see uh, how we can basically render it uh, so basically you jump on to your browser and search Google AI Studio right so we have like signed in here now you can sign in with the Google account so now here there is a big hype of nano banana AI engine which is going on right so we'll take use of that so here you can see what's new you can click on this and you can just simply let's say upload the desired image from here and let's say this is the image which we are just uploading and I can just say uh, so here is something you need to take care of like as much as detail you basically provide in your prompt that much precise or accurate your render would be right so we will just uh, be balancing that here basically so I'll simply say create a realistic architecture render of this house okay uh, I can say use luxurious textures and then I can say add some residential furniture inside the house because there are glasses so you can see that residential furniture inside the house and I can say the surroundings should be of a farmhouse showing some horses and farm animals nearby okay and then you can simply say um, the weather is sunny with some clouds okay so I think this much detail should be sufficient then we can just click on this generate button you can club this with your Google Drive if in case you want to save your future conversations I haven't done that yet here you can see the tokens which this particular generation is taking into use so we have around 32,000 something rough tokens with us and this is taking around this much so if we see okay this looks exciting So this is still generating so one thing we need to take care of here is the resolution of the final image it basically provides is the same as we have provided for the original image so that's how it is basically designed and that's how it basically functions so if you open this okay this looks quite good right there are farm animals and this is the house uh, let's just do one thing 
if in case we have some texture from our own side let me just add that here let's say this is a texture right and I can just say add the following texture to the walls of above house okay <coughs> I think it is still uploading let me just it shouldn't take that while while uploading this stuff okay let me just run it and let's just see it has taken the texture anyways so we basically want this texture to be applied on the walls and this time the resolution will be taken for this second image so that's how basically it works so there are workarounds but yeah so if in case you have some custom textures handy for your project you can basically take take those into use right so it's taking some time so here we have that so this was the texture and this is a new render image with the same setting same environment it doesn't change anything it's only the resolution basically which gets change with something you can like resolve you can re-upload this image uh, the original image uh, right this one and then just say apply the render so that's that's how it basically works so if you just see this right so texture looks perfectly well and the weight has applied so I think that's how basically you can use this for your own projects as well right guys now let us just try with some mechanical part let's say so let's say this was sunglasses that we model in one of the tutorial so I'll just say create a realistic mock-up of this sunglasses showing a male model wearing it in a close-up shot and that should be okay right let's just see so this basically helps you to just see like how your let's say mechanical parts or objects that you're basically modeling or any assembly like how did that how does it basically <coughs> looks in the actual uh, realism or photorealism scenarios right so here for example we have the sunglasses we basically want to see like how actually would they look when they're actually worn by some actual person right there's some kind of examples basically and meanwhile let me know with your comments what basically you would like to learn in the upcoming tutorials right and topic you would like to explore and also let me know in your comments uh, with your comments right guys like from which city or which country like you have been watching this video so that's a kind of like really engaging like we are from different parts of the world and we are connected with each other in a way right so sunglasses looks really cool uh, let me just open it it's still loading so the shape like of the sunglasses is really matching wow the quality like if you see it's quite great like in terms of the resolution and everything right moving to next example uh, let's just take example of 
let's uh, take this bridge basically okay so create a realistic architectural render of this bridge okay in a suburban busy area uh with cars okay uh in suburban busy area with cars and i should say from low angle because this is a birds eye view basically in a sub urban busy area okay i think that should be sufficient so we can run this and let's just see how does it basically render <coughs> so this was one of the bridge basically which we did in one of the video uh, where this trusses were like automatically designed uh, like geometry was basically provided as a kind of high level overview and then basically we modeled it and sketched it this was kind of optimized design right guys so here we have the render being loading it has taken the same resolution like it was scalish in a scale format so it has taken that accordingly let it just load okay okay the weather environment is very well so this looks really nice like you see it has beautifully drawn and rendered like the busy area with cars and the bridge looks really beautiful right now what we can do is uh, i can say convert this render into hand drawn sketch style right so that's also sometimes a requirement like we want we have something with us and we want to see like how does it look with a hand drawn sketch style so you can just try that okay <clears throat> so it has given a result and it looks really fabulous like the way it has drawn uh let it just load and i'll just show you in the full screen the servers are getting like really busy as i can say okay this is nice like the rough sketch basically and you can see this is really phenomenal yeah right guys uh so this was one example let me just try something else so let's say we take this under construction concrete structure and i can say create a realistic render of this concrete frame building and i can say in a surrounding of construction site construction site showing masons and engineers working surrounding of a busy construction site okay showing masons and engineers working so let's see and draw this concrete frame concrete we have given like for the material basically right in the surrounding of a busy construction site let's just see this so it has given a result basically guys let us just see that 
it has added this time some additional details on its own right so because the view was isometric so maybe in that regards it might have seen or taken consideration of some like additional details like the reinforcement which it has given it's it looks nice the side is okay in terms of the environment right yeah the edges are like quite sketchy uh but yeah uh, this is promising in regards to the things that i'd like to see uh let's just try with one more example let's take let's take this one okay i'll say create a realistic architectural render of this villa okay in a suburban landscaping terrain okay um i can say luxurious villa maybe here in a suburban landscaping terrain okay i can say show lush green grasses and terrain with swimming pool in front of the villa okay uh let's just see this now so the main thing is it totally depends upon the detailing that you are doing in your prompt right like how much detail or actual description of the environment you are able to provide so accordingly like it will fetch the details and your instructions and accordingly it will basically provide you with the rendered model a uh, rendered image basically right so let us just see the result so the results are like really luxurious like the way it has created a swimming pool lush green grasses and the terrain so it basically fetches the information like very well right it is just load and i'll just make it full screen then like like so far the results are really nice like in terms of expectations and the way it basically presents and the detailing right so if i just open it so i think this is really really nice wow this is really wonderful right with the terrain and the overall information great superb so i think guys that's all like what we have seen so far in today's tutorial uh feel free to experiment this on your own right and let me know with your comments like how you like the tutorial and what basically you would like to learn more in the future right guys so i think that was it and there's a coffee page also in the description like feel free to support and like this video see you in some other video guys in some next tutorial till then take care goodbye and thank you so much